Hello, and welcome to OS Review on the Grippa 98 channel. Today, we're going to be looking at Jolly OS, which is a um, operating system based on the Linux kernel, designed to be easy to use and syncable across multiple computers, therefore you can access it pretty much everywhere, including your mobile phone. This including apps, data, and various other information. And if you prefer to not use the um, operating system itself, you can opt for the uh, Chrome-based version, or I believe Firefox. So looking at the uh, layout of this, is it's very simple really. Um, you've got your apps here, you can switch between your different pages here. Um, here at the top you've got the uh, Joy Cloud logo. This tells you're connected via um, a wired network, volume. Um, here you've got a plus button so you can add um, apps. You do have an, art, uh, an app market just so you know. So you can get this. Um, uh, you can look by most shared or most recent. You can search apps. Um, if you press this here, that's the your um, desktop, of course. Um, this antenna-looking thing here is a um, is uh, just looking at friends and view and activities they have. And by the way, this is actually designed to run on computers up ten years old plus, as it says here. So that's a good thing for uh, your netbook user out there and things like that. Uh, this will let you look at your various um, uh, mass storage devices and even uh, Dropbox and Google Drive. And the last option is basically just settings. So, yeah. Um, um, if you go back to the desktop now, um, we can look at the... Um, the fact that this icon right here will actually let us choose between different wallpapers they have built in, so we can just click one. Magically appears. Try to find a nice one like this. They are not very well optimized for what you would expect on the 1080p screen like mine. This is actually running in VirtualBox, so you can understand that it's smaller than 1080p. But um, that's that. Uh, let's look at the browser. This is basically Chromium, not much different than anything else really. Um, just your standard browser, and you know, you've got Flash and everything, so you can play a dream. You can play a uh, video inside, no problem. That was loud. Anyway, so guys, um, that's that basically, and you can um, just close it by this. Uh, you do also have access to the, um, the terminal, and I believe that was Control Alt F3, and I just messed it up. So. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this now. And we're back. Sorry for that, guys. I just accidentally pressed Control Alt F3, which actually messed up with my virtual machine there. But there is a way to access the Linux terminal. I just don't quite remember. Um, you can also do this by searching apps like Wiki or something, so you get to the Wikipedia page. And uh, it's it's nicely integrated, I believe. You do have access to things like Google Voice and a few apps. What you have to know, though, is that most of the apps you're actually um, using are not actually um, on the computer itself, such as um, OpenOffice Writer, Writer, and things like that. Um, I actually had a lot of problems um, installing this for some reason. I, I they fixed it since then, but who knows? Um, right now, I'm running in guests, so I can't really do this, but um, that's basically it guys, I hope you enjoy this, and uh, be sure to um, check it out if you have a netbook or something like that, or just enjoy the simplicity of it, or even looking for a Chromium replacement. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, please comment on any suggestions you may have, Video um, comments like you suck and things like that are not useful and I don't think should be part of the, the YouTube community. Thank you very much and have a good day.